peace and happiness on all of us and on our planet you know religious bickerings religious animosities have swamped sanity of human beings almost everywhere in all the nooks and corners of our country and abroad also if you are you know looking for differences there is no dearth of differences there is no dearth of pretexts people are quarreling in the name of religion you know and this quarrel reminds me of some bollywood movies especially those movies woven around lost and found theme how you have seen in a typical you know bollywood movie two brothers get separated okay they are brought up differently they have got separated in a big crowd in a mela and they have fallen into different hands so they are brought up differently one grows to be a gentleman and the other you know brought up by the villain you know ends up being a bad guy in course of time you know these two brothers become inimical to each other they want to you know out smart each other sometimes you know the hostility you know is so high is so intense that one wants to kill the other and in course of time due to some quirk of circumstances you know they come to know that they belong to the same parents oh all these years they were unnecessarily fighting how ignorant of them and the moment this realization dawns on them that they belong to the same parents they are brothers you know what happens they join hands and then they defeat the villain and the story ends the movie ends on a happy note so this story reflects that the more you know the less you quarrel similarly the higher you rise the broader becomes your perspective your faith is okay even your doubt is okay there is no problem with your doubt but both in faith and doubt if there is sincerity that is a good thing what is not okay is prejudice unfortunately our pseudo intellectuals half baked intellectuals nowadays are cursing religion mostly fanatan religion at the drop of a hat they are you know blaming religion for all the sufferings on this earth all the sufferings in our society all the evils in our society is it so is religion so bad had it been such a bad thing how would have it produced a spiritual if talwards great human beings like prabhu 
राम कृष्णा लाइक स्वामी विवेकानंद लाइक रमण महर्षि लाइक आचार्य श्री राम शर्मा एंड समर्थ रामदास हु गाइडेड शिवाजी स्वामी रामानंद हु हेल्प कबीर एंड स्वामी शिवानंद हु गाइडेड ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम सर एंड एमोंग द कॉन्टेम्प्रेरीज सदगुरु जग्गी बाफदेव सी स्वामी मुकुंदानंद ऑल दी यू नो ए स्पिरिचुअल स्टाल वर्ड्स दे हैव इन्फ्लुएंस्ड एंड मेसमराइज इवन द वेस्टर्न फिलोसफर्स एंड इट इज नॉट दैट गुड पीपुल आर यू नो कन्फाइंड वनली टू सनातन धर्मा इवन इफ्लाम यू नो हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड ग्रेट थिंकर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल मौलाना कालवे सादी मौलाना कालवे जवाद आरिफ मोहम्मद खान सर मोहम्मद रफी आवर लिजेंड्री सिंगर आवर एडोरेबल पर्सनैलिटी एंड आई वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रेस अपॉन यू एंड ऑल द व्यूअर्स that let us not behave like bad carpenters who quarrel with their tools so let us not quarrel with our religion okay we are we are just like you know in our ignorance we are just like the donkey carrying sandal sandalwood on its back and you know those people who know that they are carrying you know fragrance you know load of fragrance load of wisdom they are happy with the load otherwise they are constantly grumbling and mindful of the fragrance of the sandalwood same is true of our religion so the long and short of what i mean to say is that if you want to quarrel if you want to kill in the name of differences there is no dearth of pretexts you may fight in the name of religion even within the same religion you may fight in the name of caste sometimes you fight in the name of color and class fight is also obvious you may fight due to your ignorance even in the name of your zodiac signs you may say oh libra is superior to leo sagittarius is superior superior to capricorn rubbish things like that so if you are looking for you know pretext to quarrel there is no dearth of pretexts but if you want to live in peace if you want to love other human beings learn to look for similarities and there is no dearth of similarities we are eating the same food we are drinking the same water and we are breathing the same air and all these things made by the same creator and still how ignorant of us you know how haughty of us to keep fighting in the name of religion just because of some a spiritual texts which are not properly which have not been properly understood you know by the half baked intellectuals so why read why run after those scriptures why not you read 
the scripture that is lying here the book of your own rationality it is so close to you and the moment you learn you know to read the book of your rationality all these quarrels all these quarrels all these bickerings would come to an end and now some words used in a spiritual parlance so the first word is theist theist means astic t h e i s t the person who believes in the existence of god in the existence of creator we may be curious to know whether the scientists believe in god or not i was also curious so it is really amusing to know that most of the eminent scientists you must have heard the names of charles babbage father of computer copernicus galileo dalton sir isaac newton lavoisier and our very own abdul kalam sir they were believers they were devout persons so it is not necessary that if you are a scientist you have to be you know atheist no you may be atheist and still you may be a good scientist now atheists atheist means nastic a person who has no belief in the existence of god for example in our country javed akhtar you know the famous bollywood personality famous poet then rajat kapoor kamal hasan all these names you know are very famous and uh, all the communists in our country and elsewhere too and uh, the literary giant khuswan singh so there are you know several personalities who are atheist and now the third category that is agnostic a z n o s t i c agnostic so if you are not sure of the existence of god okay you can't say for sure whether god exists or not you are an agnostic and interesting to know that socrates i mean sukrat he was an agnostic nehru ji was an agnostic and our you know beloved osho was also an agnostic an agnostic you know is the person who is very honest who is completely devoid of prejudice thank you